So now let's check the answers together. The first one, I will volunteer in the health clinic, which means I'll work at the health clinic without being paid or expecting to get anything in return. Teachers do a noble job. I just gave you an example of doctors. So teachers also do a noble job. I haven't slept at all, so I am extremely tired. Extremely, as I've said, it's maximum. If someone haven't slept at all, so definitely he's extremely tired. The duck fed her ducklings before herself. Instead of saying the duck gave food to her ducklings, we could say fed. Annie grew up in an orphanage. For the ones who are wondering, Annie is a character from a movie and she grew up in an orphanage or she was raised at an orphanage. Last one, I visited a kindergarten. The children were so adorable or let's say cute or lovely. I hope you got them right. And for the ones who have mistakes, don't worry. You can practice further in order to be very good at those vocabularies. Let's move now to the second objective, which is cause and effect. Let's see this exercise, or let's say the example, which is taken from the reading comprehension that I have started the lesson with. She was left at the orphanage due to a war in her country, which made her end up alone. Pay attention, my dear students, to this sentence. What is cause? A war at her country. Let me clarify. A cause is a reason or it's something that made something else happen. Let's go back to the extract. She was left at the orphanage. Yes, she was left at the orphanage, but why? There has to be a reason. The reason is due to a war in her country. So now in this, uh, in this extract, we have a cause, which is the war at her country. So. What is the effect? End up alone. Because of this war at her country made her end up alone. This is the result that she came up with. Because of the war, she ended up alone. Let me give you just another example from my own. I haven't gone to work because I have flu. So there is cause, there is effect. Now the cause is the flu. I got flu. So what is the result? What did this flu do to me? It didn't let me go to work. So that's the effect. The cause creates the effect. That's in other words. This is just extra clarification. The cause usually creates the effect. Here are some keywords that can help you identify the cause and effect. How would I know which one is the cause? How would I know which one is the effect? Of course, there are some keywords which clarifies this idea. Let's see. The word because. Remember, I just told you I haven't gone to work because I had flu. So there is cause and there is effect. And I have linked them together using because. Since is another keyword. Therefore, consequently, thus, F or then, so, as a result, due to, or in order to. Now, I'll give you three extracts, as you can see at the slideshow. I will ask you to read them carefully, and I want you to specify which one is the cause and which one is the effect. Let me read the extracts for you. Number one, I decided to be a part of this job because it's a noble job and it would teach me a lot. Where's the cause? Where's the effect? Number two, she was left at the orphanage due to a war at her country, which made her end up alone. Which one is the cause? Which one is the effect? Pay attention. Number three, this experience changed my life as it was a summer that I didn't waste in which I learned a lot from the orphans. There is a cause and there is an effect. I'll give you two minutes, think carefully, and we'll check the answers together.
So let's see together. I have highlighted the keywords which identify the cause and effect in red. Pay attention. The first one is because. So the cause is be a part of this job, which means the voluntary work. And the effect, of course, it will teach me a lot. If she did this, if she was or if she joined the voluntary work, this would teach her a lot. And that's the result or the effect. Number two, the cause was the war at her country and the effect she was left at the orphanage. Last one, the cause was she worked as a volunteer and how did this end up or what's the effect of this cause? It changed her life or it changed my life. We came to, end, to the end of our lesson. Thank you so much for paying attention and we'll see you soon in another lesson. Goodbye.